Lads, how are you doing? Very Great. well. Very well. Yeah. How are you? I'm, I'm excellent, thanks. I'm Good. all the better for seeing you. Us oh. too. We were saying that on the way in. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. Because you have been away. For, I mean, it's been like a year. Yeah. Mm. Maybe yeah. more than more than a year. Yeah. Well, first things first. What have you What have you been doing? Uh, we've been writing an album. Good. So, yeah. That's good. That's a good thing to do. All our fans always say to us, you know, I lost we've been away for so long. And the only thing we can say really is, you know, it takes a long time to write a, an album that, you know, you're happy with. So, yeah. we went away and, you know, we went to Nashville and spent a lot of time there and literally just locked ourselves away for a good six months and wrote an album that we're really proud of and um, recorded it with a great producer out in Nashville. So, yeah. We sort of, uh, it was the first time we've ever been to Nashville as well, so we, we absolutely loved it out there. It was such a, a you know, a great energy and yeah. amazing experience. And what made you go out there to write it? I can't think of a better place to go and record music when, like, as soon as you step out the door of the studio or, you know, the house we were staying in, you're literally surrounded by, like, actual live music, like, people playing really? instruments, yeah. Did you guys ever kind of, like, get on there and uh, do a little impromptu performance? Quite good to practice, right? We didn't, but because the last time we tried to do that, it didn't really go down too well. Um, right. Basically, we got thrown out of a bar in Toronto, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Since what, what, what were you doing? This couldn't. This can't be because they didn't like your voice. Rhino, you tell the story. Well, no, we, tell we, were on, we were on tour at the time. Uh, we did like a little North American tour, and we ended up in uh, in Toronto. Yeah. And after the show, naturally, we went down just you know out for a few beers and stuff. And yeah. we were seeing this band that was on. They were a great band, and then. In between their sets, you know, we'd had a few beers, we were getting into it, and we were like, because we started out as a cover band in pubs and stuff, funding, you know, making our own music. Mm. So we, we just had a few flashbacks, and we're like, yeah, I think we could do this. <laughs> we can still do it. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've got this. So we jumped up on stage, and... Uh, well, no, warning. instead of our management saying that's probably not a good idea, she was like, go on, boys, get out, <laughs> get out there, show them yeah. yeah, <laughs> shit, I actually got ordered to fight that night by my manager. It was great. These three, these three got on stage first. I was still at the bar at this point. And I turned around, it was kicking off on stage. She just went, get up there and fight. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it was, what? It was good. What, because you just tried to, to did you yeah, try to not mud well, like muscle them off the well, they, they like didn't want us on the stage, if we're being um, honest. It was like it's a like, classic like a... cowboy bar scene with like the swinging doors, people getting thrown yeah. out of them. That's amazing. Me. You guys are the right. Kanye West of the uh, yeah. of, like the band world. <laughs> the underground country music world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get off. You've done Beyonce covers. They would love that. <laughs>